cerebral palsy, autism, Down syndrome, developmental delay, hyperactivity, learning problems, special needs. These are the words millions of parents have heard describing their children. They are heartbreaking diagnoses made even worse by the news that improvement is impossible. When Mr. and Mrs. Fulyun's first child was diagnosed with a stroke, the second child with autism, and the third child with Down syndrome, they thought their future was hopeless. Our daughter had a stroke. Um, she, we were told that she'll never speak, um, she'll never walk, and she'll have a blind spot, and she'll be a hemiplegic. Yeah, and Guillaume, our son, who was diagnosed with Down syndrome, there wasn't much, much expectation for, for him. Um, we tried the normal therapies and they said, you know, don't hope too much. And my heart just went, no, this can't be it. You know, this, this can't be yeah. it. Yeah, and then Leo, um, who was diagnosed with autism, um, we were told that everything will be slow, um, it will be different and he, he will never be mainstream. It, it was terrible. While there are hundreds of different symptomatic labels for children who are slow to develop, experts say they all have one thing in common, brain injury. If you label somebody as having cerebral palsy, or you label somebody as being autistic, uh, what does that mean? The underlying cause is an injury to the brain. That, that something has happened to the brain that's prevented it from functioning normally. Whether that is related to an anatomical abnormality of the brain as, as it developed, or whether it's related to something that happened to the brain sometime after birth, like a stroke or a blow to the head or a near drowning episode. The end result is the same. Brain cells or certain brain cells stop functioning, certain connections between brain cells stop communicating, uh, and the whole gist of the concept of brain injury is to get those cells functioning again. The term brain injury can be frightening, but the staff at the renowned Institutes for the Achievement of Human Potential point out that the brain has great potential for development and recovery. Through intensive but non-surgical drug-free treatment developed by the Institute's founder, Glenn Doman, and his team, children have experienced astounding progress physically, intellectually, and socially. Through a daily program of sensory stimulation and motor opportunity, Brain growth is stimulated and speeded, sometimes changing conditions previously considered hopeless. What's more surprising, the Institute's discovery that treatment at home by mother and father is the most successful. Teaching our parents is the easiest of all our jobs because our parents want to fix their kids. They come here with a great passion to solve the problem. We spend a long time teaching about the brain. Uh, they attend lectures, they attend a full week course, 40 hours. Then they have all the pieces of the puzzle that they need to go home and to do a really terrific job. With a profoundly or severely injured child, it may be many months or years of hard work, but often progress can be seen immediately. We had never thought that in 18 months of doing what we were told to do and programmed to do, this would be the result. Just our autistic boy, he was just absent. No relationship, no eye contact um, to someone now who, who <laughs> who's become an, an extrovert who is just on my lap, looking me in the eye, touching, showing affection. His speech is coming up. Kaina um, is running, um, her language picked up, her respiration picked up, her whole body alignment um, changed. And she Gian is also breathing much better. Mm. Uh, Gian is a dancer and boy, he breathes much better, he interacts more. Um, he's growing for the first time. He used to just stagnate, he used to wear the same clothing size for two or three years in a row, mm. and now he's, he's outgrowing his clothes. Just watching these children go from where they were to where they are now is, was just an incredible journey which we feel privileged to be a part of and it's humbling um, to see their determination. Since time has begun, the parents of brain injured children have been told that their hurt kids were hopeless. Beware of false hope they're told. There is no such thing as false hope. 
but there is false despair. When we provide stimulation and opportunity, the brain has tremendous potential to develop and heal. There is always hope, always. Hurt kids are often medicated, warehoused and forgotten. They should not be. Instead, every hurt kid deserves a fighting chance to be well. Our job is to give every child that fighting chance. The Institutes for the Achievement of Human Potential has been changing lives for more than 50 years. This nonprofit organization was founded in 1955 by Glenn Doman, who is world renowned for his pioneering work. The world has looked at brain growth and development as if they were predestined and unchangeable facts. Instead, they are a dynamic and ever-changing process. This is a process that can be stopped, as it is by profound injury. This is a process that can be slowed, as it is by severe injury, but most significantly, this is a process that can be speeded. All we do at the institutes is to provide visual, auditory, and tactile stimulation with increased frequency, intensity, and duration in recognition of the orderly way in which the brain grows. Thousands of families travel to the Institute's Philadelphia headquarters from all over the world. Here, they find the answers they seek and the guidance they need. But above all, they find people who believe in their child. Joshua was a month old when we, re we realized something was wrong with him. We took him to the hospital and he couldn't hold a bottle up. He couldn't hold his head up. He could only turn around on one side of his body. He had low tone in his neck and his arms. We were told that he would never walk, never talk, that he probably would not gain any mobility. In essence, we needed to just go on with the rest of our lives. But that wasn't an option that we were willing to accept. He started the program, thankfully, when he was uh, seven months old. Now he can walk, he's starting to run, he's starting to speak. So his progress has been phenomenal. He told me the purpose of his life is to help other people. And it brought me to tears because I'm like, this little guy couldn't walk, he couldn't talk. <clears throat> he couldn't do anything for himself, but he wants to help other children. I mean, that just spoke volumes to me. I almost went around the world before I came to the institutes. I never got a diagnosis, but I got many prognoses, and they were all pretty much along the same lines. Deaf, blind, vegetable, and I was told to terminate pregnancy at six months. Victoria couldn't see, could hardly see, and she was rigid and uh, nonverbal, and she would do uh, sh things uh, that were just not right for a four-year-old, like hide herself before behind her beautiful hair and tap her head against the wall and very distraught over noises. I saw immediate results, immediate results. First thing, right off the bat, she stopped salivating like a six-month-old child. She started being able to eat, verbalizing more, immediately. The first three months alone is what kept me going for this many years. It helps me by building strength, confidence, and how smart I am. As it has for half a century, the Institutes for the Achievement of Human Potential will continue to develop life-changing treatment for children and adults. The most important thing that we can say to a parent of a brain injured child is the brain grows by use. It literally grows. Like the biceps, it grows by use. Today we call this neuroplasticity, but for 56 years, we've been teaching parents, it grows by use. And when parents really understand this, they understand that there's tremendous hope for their children. For more information about this innovative program, visit us online at iahp.org.